Last week I made the peanut butter apple pie and you may remember I was a little bit disappointed with the peanut butter. I can't get quite over the fact that the peanut butter here in Ireland or probably Europe tastes a little bit different and apparently it has to do with the type of peanuts which are being used in the peanut butter. I'm going to try today how to make peanut butter from scratch. American peanut butter, the high-end kind like Manhattan and Co and such. Oh, peanut butter. And ironically enough, as a kid I hated peanut butter. Now it makes sense though because it was probably the peanut butter I'm getting here which I don't like either. So I figured I want to make peanut butter cookies and ideally I want to make peanut butter cookies with ice cream but I want to have the right flavor profile. So I figured out if I can't buy it, I may have to make it. Apparently the secret to homemade peanut butter is to use red peanuts and ideally not too big of red peanuts. Apparently there are also pink skin peanuts, but we want to use small red skin peanuts. So apparently these are red peanuts and they have a reddish skin, so it makes sense that they're called red peanuts. And I bought them in the local Indian store. To roast them, I have to put them on a metal sheet at 350 degree Fahrenheit, which I think is about 180, 185 degrees Celsius, and roast them for about 20 minutes. Then I'm gonna let them cool down and have to get rid of the skin. And apparently you have to shake it or something. So let's try that out and see what comes out of it. So here are well roasted peanuts. They just got out of the oven. Mmm, they smell good. And apparently, to know that they're well roasted, I need to look for cracks in the skin of the peanuts. Okay, there seem to be cracks. Now what I have to do though is get rid of the skin of the peanuts. And apparently the best way to do this is to put the peanuts into a box and shake the box. It may not have worked as well out as they said it would. Because most of my peanuts still have skin on them. Try to peel them with my hand. There must be an easier way. I'm gonna try to rub the peanuts against the rough surface of the strainer and maybe that loosens up the skin of the peanuts. And that seems to work much better. And now I have to pick out the peanuts. It might be easier to turn around the strainer and rub the peanuts against the rough surface and hopefully that separates the peanuts from the skin. And I think it's working. Do you think what I really have to do to peel the peanuts is create some tension and friction on the skin of the peanuts and then they will crumble? And the apparatus I have at hand to do that is my German strainer thing. The German strainer thing definitely helps with separating the skin from the peanuts, but I still have to hand pick each peanut. Sounds very labor intense. So I'm gonna try something else. I'm gonna try to make a small little peanut production line. To separate the peanuts from the skin a bit faster. For that I'm gonna use my baking rack and my baking sheet. Now the holes for the baking rack are too big and the peanuts and the skin will probably fall through it and not just the skin. But it's worth a try. I'm not gonna give up though. If I put the peanuts into my strainer and shake it, will physics help me and the heavy things will fall to the bottom and the skin of the peanuts will remain on the top? While that sort of worked, I still have to pick out each peanut. Okay, this is definitely tedious. That's when you start to really respect roasters so much more. I mean, I can make a whole entire video for two, three hours of just me peeling peanuts, but I don't think this will be too interesting for you. Now I have to figure out though, how am I gonna peel the rest of the peanuts? And, hmm, 
I need to find a better process for that. So I'm thinking, if I put the peanuts in a tray, add water. So I'm hoping that the skin of the peanuts will flow to the top of the water because the skin is actually much lighter than the actual peanuts. And wow, it's actually working. But I have now wet peanuts. So I have a few peanuts now and I'm gonna grind them just to see if all this peeling is actually worth the effort. I'm gonna add my peanuts to my food processor and gonna start grinding it. And I'm gonna add some oil. Yeah, finally I'm getting there. The oil definitely helps to grind my peanuts a little bit finer. Taste is much closer to the really. mm. salt though. Mm. So I tried to grind my peanuts with the food processor and apparently that's the way to do it. But my peanut butter is not smooth enough and it is kind of gritty actually. And I got four more kitchen appliances and I'm going to put them to the test to see if any of them can create for me smooth peanut butter. First appliance I'm going to put to the test will be my German engineered overcomplicated blender. I got some decent results out of it, but still not really smooth enough. I tried it with my coffee grinder and yes, that got smoother, but still not fine and smooth enough for peanut butter. And I've looked up in another recipe that you can try it with mortar and pestle and do it by hand and yeah, that didn't turn out quite well either. Four machines, no result. I'm gonna try one more machine. And if that doesn't work, I don't know what I will do. So what I'm gonna use is my cake mixer with the sausage grinder attachment. So I'm gonna add the peanuts now to my meat grinder attachment. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna start to get some ground peanuts. It looks good, but will it be fine enough? And unfortunately, it still doesn't give me the creamy peanut butter texture. But it is a pain to make. I gained a whole nother level of respect for peanut butter and making my own peanut butter. It looks easy. The descriptions are easy, but reality of it is, it isn't easy. Or maybe I don't have the powerful tools some other people have, and I didn't spend tons of money on it, which is apparently what you need to make your own peanut butter. My lesson learned is don't underestimate the challenge of making your own peanut butter. I'm pretty much at the end of my wits. I tried any kind of possible appliance I got at home, and I still don't have the smooth peanut butter I'm looking for. So stay tuned for next week's episode on how to make peanut butter cookies when you may not have the ideal peanut butter. I hope you enjoyed today's show and if you did, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and check the bell to get notifications about any upcoming videos. And if you have any comments, feedback, ideas which I can try out, please make sure to add them below in the comment box. And I see you next week. Bye.